Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a leveling bot called Arcane that will allow you to reward people rolls when they reach a specific level. Now, Me6 is a fantastic bot, but it also costs a whole bunch of money to use real functions that people need, so I would not use that. Moreover, Arcane bot sucks right now. They're updating the code or something, and there's absolutely no support on their support server. The dev team really just doesn't care about you, and then they try to ask you for premium, and when you do get premium, their support is still awful. So I would highly suggest you keep your money and using the free parts of this bot. So to start off you need to go to the first link in the description and log in, then you need to select the server you want to add the bot to. So I'm selecting LT for level test, and it should pop up with this menu here saying, oh, do you want to add it to your server? Click continue. Then you can look through the roles here. Arcane does have a moderation feature. If you want Arcane bot solely for the role function, then you can disable administrator and a couple other things and make it just so it gives people roles after reading their messages. In any case, just click on authorize, then click I am human, and it should add the Discord bot to your server. As you can see, Arcane is now in my little test server. So to start off, we actually need to have a couple of things set up on our server beforehand. So in my case, for example, I'm going to have a general chat, then I'm going to have a no XP chat, so if anyone types in here they don't get XP, then I'm going to have a bot commands channel, so the bot will only react to commands in this specific channel, then moreover we need to set up roles for people to actually get when they reach specific levels. In this case I'm only going to show you aesthetic roles because having all those permissions and stuff will just convolute the video and make it harder to understand. So you need to create a handful of roles for your rewards. So click create role, then you want to create the role, and I'm going to call it beginner and it is going to be for people who achieve level five. Now, you can just select a color that you want, and once you do that, you need to go to the permissions tab, and if you're only doing it for aesthetic reasons, then you just need to make sure all of these are turned off, or you can just click the clear permissions button. So this role will be aesthetic only. So that means that if you have roles already set up, this won't affect them or anything at all. Once you do that, click save changes, and now you need to add another role. So click create role, then you need to add another one. So this one is going to be and I'll spell it really poorly, and it's going to be level 10, and it's going to have this green color. Then I'm going to go to permissions and clear permissions and click save changes. Then I'm going to add another role, and this one's going to be called advance, and it's going to be level 15. So just do this for every single role that you want to do. It's really straightforward. Make sure you clear permissions every time just for aesthetic purposes so it doesn't actually mess with any permissions. Now, once you have all your roles created, all you need to do is just adjust them so they are set up properly. First off, you want Arcane on top of every single level role so it can actually give the roles. Then you want to make it so that level 50 is above level 5. So just reorganize it so that your lowest level roles will be at the bottom and your highest level roles will be at the top. Click Save Changes, and now you actually have your server set up. First off, there's a prefix. I would make your arcane bot a prefix that is easy to use. Do exclamation mark. Now me6 is also exclamation mark, so make sure that your prefixes aren't the same on two separate bots or else they'll start to interfere with each other and you'll have a ton of issues. Once you do that, you need to first turn off a whole bunch of modules. If you're only using arcane bot for leveling, then disable every single module except leveling. Moreover, if you thought YouTube notifications was interesting, uh, don't think it's interesting because it doesn't work. Next up, you need to go to leveling and click configure. And once you go to the leveling tab, this is where you do a lot of your work. So to start off, you have options on the left for XP. You can't change these unless you have premium. And if you have premium, then you probably already know how to use this bot. Now on the right here, you will see level up message. And you know how annoying it is when you get a message every single time you level up. But Arcane Bot allows you to have it where you can send a message when someone gets a role, which is way more important and actually something people want to know. So all you need to do is clear all the garbage in here, then do an open curly brace and type in earned then put a colon, and then once you do that, you just need to type out the message you want. So in this case, I'm just going to copy it from here, and then I'm going to paste it. And once you paste it in, you'll notice that it says you earn the name or mention or both role. So in this case, I'm going to customize a little bit more. I don't want it to mention the role because that means that if someone gets level five and they get the member role or the beginner role, that means every single beginner will know that they got the role, which is annoying. Once again, we're trying to do this to reduce the annoyance of the bot. So I am going to remove all this and make it so it says you earned the name of the role, role. Now this is great and all people know that they got the role, but they want to know what level they are. So I'm going to have it say, first off, I'm going to make a new line before it. And it's going to say, you are now level, and then you need to put a curly brace, and then you need to do user.level. Then once you do that, put a period after it and put a space. 
if someone gets a role, it'll say you are now level and then their level, you earned the whatever role. That's good, but at the same time, it actually doesn't let everyone know who actually earned the role. So what you need to do is before this U, you need to put in a curly brace and open one and do user.mention, then close curly brace space and then reformat it so it's not a capital Y. And now what will happen is that if someone gets a role, it'll say at whoever got the role, you are now level, whatever level it is, and you earned the name of the role, role. Very weird, but trust me, putting a little bit of effort into this will just make it so much better for your users. Now moving on to the easier stuff, we have no XP roles. This is good if you have people who are muted or maybe you want to punish someone for being bad, then you can give them a no XP role and it won't give them XP. That's something you could set up. It's really obvious and straightforward. Moreover, there's the no XP channels. And remember how I was talking about the no XP channel I have on the server? Well, in this case, I actually want to add it, so I'm going to add the no XP channel. But also, you probably want to remove the bot commands for XP because you're not actually contributing to any good conversation. So I'm going to add it as well. Now, if you want to unselect a channel, for example, by clicked on general, then you just need to click on it again and it'll disappear. Moving on, let's look at role rewards. Now, this option here, stack rewards, is probably worthless. I would always keep it disabled because having someone with like 15 roles, that's all like, oh, you got level five, level 10, level 15 is annoying. So just uncheck it. Now on the right here, this is where you actually add the roles. So you select a role and you do beginner, then you choose it for level five, then you click add reward and you just do this for every single one. So level 10 is the next one and it's for intermediate add reward level 15 for the advanced role. Then it's level 25 for the expert role or whatever I called it, and level 50 for the elite role. Once again, this is very straightforward. Just select the level you want people to achieve to unlock the role. And in this case, we had the little parentheses, level 50 will grant you the elite role and it will only unlock in level 50. It's honestly super straightforward. Now, once you do that, let's get onto the XP boosters tab. Now for the XP boosters role, you can only have one booster role for free. And this is great because server boosts, what the heck do you do when someone boosts your server? You probably have no server boost advantages or any rewards for them, but now you do. All you need to do is select a role, then do server booster. So in this case, I don't have a server booster role. So if someone actually had a server boost, then you would get the server booster role. So select the server boost role wherever it is. Then you would increase the percentage by maybe 10 or 30%. I have minus 30% because I love my server boosters. So set it to 30% and click add booster. Like I said before, I selected Arcane for the role, but if you have someone actually boosting your server, it will have the server boost role. As you can see on my specific server, we have the server boost role right here, and this is automatically generated by Discord. Then next up, there's Vote Booster, and uh, you can't disable it because you need premium, and that's a really dumb reason to buy premium. But the good one is actually down at the bottom right here, Effort Booster. This is something I have enabled, and people don't know about it at least until they watch this. Now, once you enable the effort booster part, basically what it does is that if someone uses their brain and types out more than 25 words and actually puts effort into their message, they will get a 10% boost increase in their XP for that specific message. You could set this to whatever boost percent. I would recommend you leaving it within five to 30%. Anything above 30 is excessive and you'll have people burning through your rolls as fast as humanly possible. I already have someone who's level 20 and I set this up two days ago. Thank you, Asatoro. Anyways, next up you have a leaderboard and this is really straightforward. Just enter in whatever you want. So I'm gonna do NTTS and then test server and press save. Then if I click view leaderboard, it'll have that extension at the end of the URL. Now, if I go backwards and scroll down, I can enable voice leveling. Psych, that's for premium users. And last up we have max level. Now max level is actually something you should keep in mind. If you don't care about people getting level 235, then leave max level to zero. But if you do care about people, you know, getting too high of a level and it being an absolute mess, then you could set the max level to whatever. I personally think that you should set the max level to zero because it gives people more incentive to talk and it's something to actually strive towards, having the highest level number. And anyways, that is the leveling tab. And now if we go back to the dashboard, there is one more thing we have to look at, which kind of sucks, and that's command restrictions, the boring stuff. Basically, if you only care about people just getting levels, disable all in general, then for leveling, enable all. For moderation, disable all. And reaction roles, disable all. Then go back to the leveling tab. And this is where you're going to want to change and manage some of the things. So for example, all commands in all modules will be blacklisted in these channels. This is where things are gonna suck. If you only want people to use bot commands in your bot commands channel, then you need to click choose channels and you need to select 
every channel except bot commands. So if I do that now, general and no XP are selected and bot commands is left out. Basically what it does is that when you select every single channel except your bot commands channel, it means that these commands will only work in the bot commands channel. It's weird. Basically just select the channels you don't want people using bot commands in and the rest will just be your bot commands channel. And once you set that up, that allows you to actually use the bot correctly and it's well organized. So now if you go back to your test server, if you try using a command in, you know, the normal thing. So once again, I changed the prefix to exclamation mark. If I do exclamation mark rank and press enter, the command has been disabled in this channel, making it so that people won't check their rank and general channel because it's annoying. Moreover, if I type in no XP real quick, I should get no XP. So if I go into bot commands and check my rank, I have no rank. See, I talked in no XP and nothing happened. But now if I talk in general, then I go back to bot commands and I have to do exclamation mark rank. Now, if you do it right away, it'll say, whoa, slow down for eight seconds, wasting your time and being a pain in the ass. Anyways, I went on like a week long rant and I finally calmed down. If I press rank, then you can see that I have 34 XP. I have XP. Now you can also do color. So if I do exclamation mark color, you'll notice I need to provide a valid color or hex code. So I'm going to do exclamation mark color. Then I'm going to do D, 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 and then press enter. Then it'll say, are you sure you want to change your color? Press yes. And what it'll do now is if you go into your rank card, it will show you your different progress color bar thing, which is nifty. So you can set the color of your own progress bar and other members can do it for their own rank card which is cool, a little bit of customization. Moreover, we have the boosters command. So if I do exclamation mark boosters and press enter, it'll show me the boosters for specific roles. So in this case, XP boosters for the server is basically if you are a server booster, in this case, it's arcane, you get 30%. And you can also set it up with more and more if you have the premium version. Once again, don't buy premium because it's really dumb and costs a lot of money for what you get. Next up, there's leaderboard or exclamation mark LB, and it'll pop up with the leaderboard and it'll show up to the top 10 users. Next up, you have exclamation mark rewards, and this is helpful for showing people what level they have to be to get a specific role. And finally, you have set level. So if you do exclamation mark set level, then you need to put in someone's user ID here. Then at the end, this is the level. So that's the syntax for it. Uh, make sure you have set level, not with no L. So it should be exclamation mark set level user and their level. So in this case, I am going to select my user by right clicking on my name, clicking copy ID and pasting it in. Then I want to set myself to level 420 because it's a funny meme. And I can't set my, oh, I can't set my level higher than 100. Yeah. Once again, arcane is kind of weird, but you can just, you know, it's, you could always go past that and do another funny joke. And now if I do exclamation mark rank, my rank is now level 69. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now let's say Arcane Bot is just being a huge pain in the rear and not working anymore and you want to get rid of it. All you need to do is just right click the bot and click kick Arcane and press kick. And now you don't have to worry about it. It's that easy to uninstall. You can thank me later. Anyways, I love you. Mwah!